Hey guys, it's noon and I'm hopping on here for a lunch break sale. So on Sundays when I go live at 7 p.m. Central Time, I will try and announce each week what time I will go live and do a lunch break sale. So every uh, week it's gonna be probably a little bit different. But this week it's on Thursday and we have snow on the ground and more snow coming and it has just been crazy, crazy amount of snow. But snow is much better than ice, right? So how the lunch break sale works is basically the same as a Sunday sale. If you hop on here on Sundays, I'll hold up an item, measure it for you, maybe talk a little bit about it. And then if you want it, you're just gonna comment sold and then say like bunny. And um, then if I haven't already, if I don't already have your email address and zip code, then you need to private message me your email address and zip code so I can invoice you and then I will invoice you when we get done here. On Sunday nights, I do two invoices where I invoice you first for the item and then second for shipping. Today, since it's not my bedtime, I will just get shipping calculated um, now, so I will only send you one invoice. And then another thing just to know about any time I do a sale, I will um, take pictures of everything that's available um, when we get done here and put that on my stories. So if you don't wanna flip through or if you're ever watching um, a video on replay and you don't wanna watch the whole thing and it's within 24 hours of the sale, you can just hop over to stories. And to get onto stories, if you just go to the page, the junk parlor, there's a circle with my picture and you just click on that circle and that's how you can watch stories, okay? And you can watch stories on Instagram as well. All right, so first up we have this paper mache bunny. He does have some water damage probably markings on him or some kind of damage discoloration, but he also has some awesome pink stuff. So I guess these used to, um, you used to put uh, candy in the basket, I can't talk. Um, and so this would be something neat to put on your uh, Easter display. The hot pink, you could even do something fun for Valentine's and transition him into um, Easter as well. There is no stamp on it. And of course my video flipping thing ability is still not working when I'm here. When I'm on my group during my Wednesday staging your antique shop group, it will flip. On my page, it will not flip, it makes no sense. So this guy is about 10 and three quarters inches tall. Super lightweight because it is paper mache. So $30 on Mr. Bunny. Okay, next up we have um, a piece of wood. Um, and I say that because I'm not really sure what it would have been the base for, but it was the base for something. Um, it does kind of have um, like sealer on it, some polyurethane on it, not that I put it on it, but it just has it on there because you can kind of see it's um, coming off in places. This, if you put some uh, wood restorer on it, I think it would clean it up really nicely. And then I say it's a base for something because this is like felt on the bottom, on the back here. So it's got this so you can scoot it around your nice furniture and you don't have to worry about any scraping happening. So it's just a shallow bowl or you could use it um, as a base for a cloche or just as a centerpiece. My bunny is probably a little bit too big proportion, but you could put this on your table and put some green moss and some eggs around it or whatever. Um, so good for layering. Um, $20 on this, and it is about nine and three quarters inches in diameter. So $20 on the wood base. Okay, then we have this blue willow bowl. It is a raised bowl and it has um, whatever uh, images in the, in the inside as well. You can see there's discoloration, there's a crack. Um, there aren't any chips on the top, but there is a crack right there. And it is stamped, made in Holland, um, and then it has a willow on it. And it is $18 on the Blue Willow Bowl. And the diameter is about five, a little bit shy of five and a half. And you're looking at about three and a quarter inches tall. So this would look um, 
great stacked on some white plates. I have a lot of blue and white things, so $18 on the willow. Okay, so then we've got a hobnob um, vase here, and I'm not really sure anything else about it because it is not marked, and it does have some dust on it. Um, you could repurpose this and just leave it as it is. You could put probably put a croquet ball or some kind of um, ball on this just to use it for display as an alternative. Um, put your wooden spoons in it and put it on your counter. It's about nine and a half inches tall and it is $15 on the hobnob vase. All right, hi guys, I wasn't paying attention. You can never load in the hospital where you work. Well, that stinks, Melinda. A collection plate from church. Good job, Ethel. That, that does totally make sense. The rabbit was uh, 30. All right, Janie wants the blue willow bowl. And we'll keep going. All right, so then we have some clear glass. Um, no idea what the pattern is. It's kind of like window arches, and then each little section is different. Probably was supposed to have a lid on it, I'm guessing. It does not have a lid, um, but again, you could store any of your little bits and pieces in here. Um, the back is stamped limited edition, and then it has an A and 82 in it. And this is not really diameter, but it's about five inches and about three and a half inches tall. $5 on the clear glass candy dish base, I guess we can call it. All right, next up we've got this crate. It is 35. Mailman must be here, so it's going to be some barking for a minute. My dog's going to go psycho. I have pick packages that he's got to pick up, <laughs> so it's going to take him a little bit. This is a Peter's crate. You can see that um, it was opened upside down or whatever, so if you wanted to be able to, to read the writing, you're going to want to use this probably more so as a riser and flip it this way. Um, if you have it where you're going to put stuff inside of it, then your writing is going to be upside down. It has um, had polyurethane on it, and it is a divided box. So you could stand it up like this and use it um, to display some smalls. You could turn it sideways. You wouldn't be able to utilize this, but you could still um, create little displays. So you have a bunch of different options on, on this one. And $35, and the size is about 14 and 3 quarters by 9 and a quarter, and about 4 and a half inches tall. So Peter's crate. Okay, this lid really stumps me because it looks like it would be um, ironstone, like maybe from a chamber pot or something, but it's almost, it appears like there's chipping here, like this has been painted and underneath it, I mean, it still sounds porcelain or whatever to me, um, but it just has that look in a couple of spots. Like here, the paint is chipping and it's, it's almost metal looking underneath it. Here, the paint's chipping and there's some cream underneath it. So I have no idea what this thing is made out of. Um, if you've seen a picture of my dining room before, you know I took a bunch of ironstone lids, put um, uh, hung them with plate racks or plate hangers, and just have like three lids displayed on my wall. So you could just repurpose this as a piece of artwork or lean it up um, behind a shelf or on a cabinet on the back of the shelf and then you could set things in front of it for display and that kind of gives you some contrast. My darn lighting keeps changing. So that kind of gives you some contrast that way. Um, $10 on the lid and the Diameter is probably about 10 inches. So 10 inches on the lid. And then we have another lid that is going to be ironstone. It is also $10. Somebody has splattered some black paint on it at some point. But again, this would look pretty just on the back of a shelf or hanging on the wall. It'd make more sense to measure it this way. 
um, about nine and a quarter. So unknown make kind of lid and ironstone lid. All right, Kathy, you want the glass bowl? My mailman does come before dark, Lisa, unlike yours, although that was really funny. Um, Pat wants the Peter's box and Susan wants the rabbit. All right, then I have been seeing so many gallery walls with just random signs on them and they look awesome. So you can take a sign like this and put it in a frame or work it around other things that um, are red and white or you could do red, white and you know wood or a color or whatever. But adding signs, even though we have no idea who Eddie is, um, is a great thing to add in your decor. So this is metal. It is double-sided, although I tried to clean this side and um, the writing came off and I clean, was cleaning it with the bleach. Anytime you are cleaning um, a sign, for me anyway, be very careful because what happens is I think it gets everything wet and then if I apply a lot of pressure to get all the dirt off, then it strips it. So built by Eddie Steedham, maybe. So at least the one side looks good. And there's already holes on it so you can hang it easily. This is about 18 inches long. Stuck in my crack. And six. So 18 by six. And this is, where's my sticker? $20. $20 on the metal sign. Okay, next up we have this little um, silver creamer made and guaranteed by Meridian Company. And then it says 17 and eight ounce and USA on it. So USA. So I don't know if this is silver, silver plate, what it is. But this would be cute. This is what I have my, the dental floss things and um, our cotton swabs in a different one. Um, hold up the emblem there for you, although I have it upside down. When I put it in stories, if somebody doesn't grab it, it will um, show you the correct, <laughs> correct direction. So going on where the handles are, that's gonna be five inches. Just the opening is about three and a quarter inches and it is $8. So $8 on the little silver um, sugar. Next up, we've got some green pieces. So first up, we have this green uh, glass Again, I have no idea what the um, cut is or pattern is on here. Cooper is with me today and he thinks Cash or Kellen dropped the black paint on the lid. Oh, he's blaming the boys. That, that could be, but I don't know about this time. So we got the green glass bowl is $6. It's about four and a quarter um, diameter. So this with the sun shining through it, put it in a windowsill. Gorgeous. This little plate, we've got two of them. They would look really pretty where you have some light shining on them. Again, not sure of the pattern. These are, these are possibly saucers. So they're smooth on one side and have the cut pattern. Let's see. Betty said sandwich glass. Ethel said sandwich glass. See, you ladies know more than I do. Four and a half inches in diameter. You're getting the pair for $10. Okay, then we have, I think these are parrots. It is a beautiful um, print. It says it's got a signature on it. I'm not sure if it's watercolor or if it's a print. Um, it says made in the USA. Well, watercolor print. Um, Serene is the um, copyright down here, made in the USA. But this is just beautiful colors and would look great hung up. Um, this product has a frame made of finished anodized, I don't know, aluminum. And this has seen better days, so somebody has taped it, but I do think that it was in the original frame. And we've got $15 on our parrot. And we've got a couple other little frames that I'm gonna sell together. So $10 on these antique frames. They've got some great coloring, silver and um, I don't know, uh, 
rose colored probably. So you could fill those with some vintage photos, some family photos, anything like that. I guess I should measure the birds. The birds are, oh, about 14 and a quarter by 11 and a quarter. And these little guys are about eight and three quarters by six and three quarters. So $10 on the pair of frames. And the best part is that they have this little hanger so you only have to do one nail. I don't know about you, I hate trying to hang something when there's two saw, two things on the back and I'm trying to get them lined up and even. All right, got another, um, not a ladle, a strainer, cause it's got holes in it, but it's uh, nice and heavy duty, has a hook on it so you could hook it on the side of something. If you had like a, a melt can or a crock or even like the cone on this um, scale, you can hook it on there and have that um, be more visible so you can see it. You could bend this more and use this kind of as a little platform or shelf as well. Um, there is a little bit of surface rust on it. I have not sealed it or anything. So if you sealed it, that would kind of shine it up a little bit as well. And this is $15. Parakeets, good job, Shirley. And then we've got, Heather says, oak glass. Um, Sarah wants the two frames. The green glassware was free in boxes of oatmeal. Juice glasses are very collectible. Huh, that's cool. Um, Shirley, you are second on the frames. That's crazy that they used to put glass stuff in silverware, or in silverware, in cereal bowls. So this is probably about 16 inches long on the... Um, not even going to be able to talk, not a strainer, not a ladle, a strainer, I guess, $15. Okay. Some more glass. Again, I have know nothing about, uh, most things. I just buy things that I like. So again, no idea what the pattern is. $10 on this. I do not think there's any cracking or chipping um, on either the lid or the bowl. So $10 on, we'll call it a candy dish. Okay, another foundry piece. So this one is super unique. You could display it vertically. You could display it horizontally. Um, it's just, uh, you know, a form to make something, who knows what it was, but it has great patina and character and everybody is probably going to ask you what it is. So a great conversation starter. Uh, $45 on this one. The back of it's just raw wood. You can see it's got a couple of spots that are, are raised a little bit. And dimensions on this one. 26 so 26 inches long and about four and a quarter um, height for the way I was displaying it so $45 on the foundry piece okay then we've got this tote that is divided um, I don't think this one is one that you would want to stand up like this you could put it like this if you wanted but then you're gonna lose a little bit of like your shelving, but if you had something vertical display, maybe a pin or bullet pencil collection or something, you could stand it up um, that way. But I would say most likely you're going to just set it down like this. You could put your mail in here. If you um, are big on ephemera, you could put your, you know, little papers in here and sort them out and have them be vertical so you can kind of see them a little bit better. So lots of options on how you could organize with the tote. So on this wood tote, it's about 16 by nine and a quarter. And this is eight and a half. And it is $40. So $40 on the tote. Yes, parakeets. Um, ladle strainer, thanks Wayne. Wayne's got all the words. All right, now I've got a poultry feeder, 
blue band. It doesn't have the base with it. What else does it say? Sanitary poultry, buttermilk feeder, non-corrosive. So I always thought that, that was kind of chipped. Oh, there it is, chipped. Here's the chip. This is just how it is. And then the other side that doesn't have the writing on it, the whole um, looks good. And there's a little bit of a crack right here. Um, other than that, I think she looks good. So even though it doesn't have the base, you could still just display it like this. Um, this would be a great thing to put on the top of your cabinets as a display or anywhere in your kitchen. I don't know, I just, I just have the kitchen feeling with this thing. It is $40 on the poultry feeder. And I'm gonna say about 10 inches tall, 10 and a quarter. It is heavy. And <laughs> I pretty much drop something about every time, right? So that would be par for the course. Seven and three quarters inches in diameter. Get that out of the way. All right, next up we have this piece of architectural salvage. You could hang it pretty much any way. One little nail here and you're good to go. You could display it like this, like on top of the picture or this way. You could lean it up um, the back of your countertop, countertops. Lots of different options. It just has a very great, unique shape to it. Um, I think it was actually off of a rocking chair. $20 on this piece of architectural salvage. Total length is about 18 and three quarters by seven. So $20 on the architectural salvage. Blue band feeder, Jennifer, you want that? All right, then we have um, ice cream um, bucket. Does not have any of the um, apparatus in it. I would just use this bucket as is. Um, you could put a plant in it. You could put your toilet paper in it. You could use it as a trash can. Um, all sorts of things. You could even roll up a quilt and stick a quilt in here and have that displayed. Um, so lots of options on the Dixie Bell. It says Danville, Virginia, for those of you who like to know locations, Richmond Cedar Works Manufacturing Corp. So um, $25 on our ice cream bucket. It is probably about 11 and a half inches in diameter and nine and three quarter inches tall. Set that down beside me. All right, I grabbed another oil can. Um, this one is another one that has a long, unique, crazy um, top. This one though does have the lid on it and it is an Eagle brand. There are holes in it, so it's not gonna be holding anything. Um, and I did not, I don't think I clear coated it. So this is just surface rust and dirt, but you could clear coat it really easily if you wanted to do that. Um, kind of like I shared on the other one, um, these are metal, so you could use a magnet or a clip. You could do have a bunch of Valentines displayed on it, family pictures, pictures of grandpa with his car. Um, a bunch of different things could go on here. Just leave it as it is. So on this Eagle oil, Eagle brand oil can, $20. You're looking at about 23 inches on total height um, on this. All right, Caro syrup tin. It's still got the label on it and it still has the lid. And you can still see the label on the lid as well. $10 on the Caro syrup, syrup tin. Stick that in your kitchen. We got five and three quarters tall and about five inches in diameter on the Caro for 10. All right, Julie wants the architectural piece. Okay, next up we have this vase that is seven and a quarter inches tall. Um, I love the coloring on it. Anything green always speaks to me. And it has unique feet on it. It is unmarked and it is $15. So $15 on 
the green vase. All right, next up we've got just um, a collection of buttons, just a bunch of different white buttons in there. You're also getting the milk bottle, which I think that the, the dirt on there is just there. If any of you have had good luck cleaning, um, you know, what would you call it? Grime buildup on bottles, you should let me know. I know some people will put rice um, inside the bottles. Um, I don't even know all. I've tried vinegar, I've tried a bunch of different things, not had luck. But if you fill it with something, then you don't even realize the glass is like that. So the um, milk bottle with the buttons is $10. So $10 on that. Okay, I found a few more um, bread tins. So I've got three of these. They're all the same. We're gonna sell them together. And it's $15 for the three. These are very, very, very lightweight, okay? What would that be, aluminum? I basically need to take a class on what things are made of. <laughs> But I do like these because you could use these for storage. You could use these in the kids' um, play area, have crayons in one, colored pencils in one, markers in one. Um, you can sort t little Tupperwares and lids. I mean, um, I like having everything in a home compartmentalized. All right, we've got vinegar works great in full sun. Everything works really well with sun, but I, I've tried vinegar and I have not had luck with it. Some things I just think they get scratched so much on the inside and the dirt gets stuck in there that there's no hope. This is about 10 and a half by five and three quarters on the bread pans. Um, let's see, Kathy wants the milk bottle, Leslie wants the bread tins. They're bread tins, they're made out of tin. Maybe they are. I don't know. Denture cleaner. I have heard that too, and I have not tried that. Um, but I do have a friend who that is her favorite method of cleaning things. So we've got this uh, wooden rolling pin. It is basically just um, bare wood, which I don't know what everybody else says the trend is, but I'm telling you, I think this is the next thing. Things that don't have stain on them. Things that aren't painted. Like you strip it and you leave it. I really think that that's gonna be what's hot. That's what I'm really liking right now. So I'm gonna call that. It's gonna be the, it's gonna be the next trend. Um, you can like treat them with uh, hemp oil or you know things that you would put on a cutting board. But that's what I think is gonna be hot. So it's about 17 and a half inches long on our rolling pin. And I about went blank on what a rolling pin was and it is $10. Okay, then we have this ironstone um, pot. Let's see, there is a crack on it. Let's see how the lighting's gonna be. I can't even, well, I can just barely see, I think right here there's a little bitty crack. Can you see that? I think you can. Um, and then from the, in, uh, from the inside, you're not gonna be able to see it on the camera. But you can just see that kind of right here, there is a little bit of crack on the inside as well. Um, probably not getting at the right angle, but there is a little bitty crack. If that matters to you. But it has pretty, pretty detailing on the handle. Um, you're not gonna be able to read the um, stamp well but it says Royal Ironstone China, Alfred Meek in England, and this is $65. So height on this with the lid, you're looking at probably about eight and a half inches um, tall. So $65 on our Ironstone teapot. Okay, then we have a spittoon. Uh, it's brass. It's got some age and patina. You could repurpose this and um, put a plant in it. That would be fun. It is stamped made in England on the bottom and it is $35. The top here is eight inches in diameter. 
and about six and a quarter inches tall. So made in England, $35 on the spittoon. Yeah, Kathy, you try the um, denture tablets and see what you think. Sold rolling pin for Leslie and Karen made it. All right, next up we have another one of those wood bowls. Remember, these are new. I bought them at market. They are not old and antique. Um, they look like wood. They're probably made out of wood, but they also were made at market. Um, so you can have it be like this. Hopefully you can see in the camera. Um, and then you can have a, uh, this is like a bowl, so you could put anything in it that you are collecting. You could use this as a centerpiece on your table and put some green moss in there and eggs for Easter or display your little Valentines in there. Um, put some yarn in there and do some Valentines. So you got lots of options. This one is also one that, nope, it won't stand up. The other one must have been the one that would stand up. So you could put it like this um, or put it like this. I thought I had it like this in the shop and you could just lean it, but this makes a nice backdrop as well. Kind of what I was talking about with the ironstone lids, setting them on the back of a shelf and then you can put things in front of them. Same thing with this. You can put this wood on the back and that gives you some different color and texture and then set something in front of it and you'll have a nice contrast. So $30 on the new wood bowl. It's gonna be about 19 inches long and sits about almost four inches off the table. So 30 on that wood bowl. All right, next up we have this egg basket. It is one that has that plastic coating on it. It's orange plastic coating. I have sealed it, so it does have, it has been sprayed with um, a clear coat. And the, the orange is nice and subtle, really. There is a broken spot right here um, on it, but you could totally, I think I have hot glue stuck to it as well, um, but you could put toilet paper in it, you could line it with a feed sack or a paper bag and use it as a trash can. You could hang it um, on your porch and put plants in it. You could tip it over and put things inside of it and use it for a display. So lots of options on the egg basket, $30 on it. And it's about 15 inches in diameter and nine and a quarter inches tall. Okay, then we have this uh, wooden case with a science um, tube in it so you could separate the two and use the case in your display and then we have this science something not sure what exactly it is it says 18 cc you could thread this on one of those receipt holders and have this stand up which would look really awesome if you had a bunch of beakers and science stuff um, you could do that on a display. That would be very neat and then use the box in a different way, but you're getting these for $15. Let me scoop that out a little bit. Um, and the length on the box is going to be 11 inches. So the um, science tube thing is going to be 11 inches long as well. All right, we've got a Prince Albert smoking tobacco tin. It does have the lid on it. $15 on that. It almost looks like somebody tried to make it a piggy bank. Five and a quarter inches diameter. So see how it's been cut there? But you really couldn't get any coins in there at this point. So I'm not sure if they gave up or what. And then we have this little paint can. Just cute. You could pop off the top and use it as a planter or you can just have it in your display. Use this piece as um, kind of like a shelf to get height in your displays. $5 on the little paint can. And it's sitting about five and a half inches tall and five inches in diameter. $5 on that. A pip. A pip T T E, a pipit, pipits. There, I should have read your something. Your next comment. 
I really dislike autocorrect because you know what you're trying to say and you type it correctly and then it fixes it for you incorrectly. It's so frustrating. So we've got a little Kodak film canister. This is metal. Um, it does have a roll in it. So I don't know if that has been used or not used. I do know I've sold some before and um, the kid's really into film and photography and he, um, I'm pretty sure he developed it himself and he said they had, you know, it was fun looking at the pictures. So little Kodak canister is $5 and it sits about two inches to that top here, two inches on the Kodak film canister. Okay, then we have this um, marble piece. I'm not 100% sure that it is marble, but it definitely looks marble. It is beautiful if you can see, there's like a hint of pink here. Um, I don't know, I love it. So you could hide some stuff in here. Let's see, Leslie wants the paint can and Jennifer wants the film. Kathy, you're second on the film. Shirley, you're third on the film. And I know most of you watch me on Sundays too, but just know that um, it's, it goes to whoever shows up first on my phone and I do take seconds in case someone doesn't pay. And then it lets me know if you're interested in something because if I have more of something, then I can let you know. $18 on our little marble piece. There is some pink here on the top of that handle as well. Probably with the handle, you're looking at six and three quarters inches tall um, to give you an idea of height on that. So marble piece, forgot what I said already, $18. Okay, the last thing is this, Never mind. the last thing is not that. We've got this little oil can, somebody painted it green and somebody put fabric on the bottom of it. So they cut out a piece of fabric. I don't know if they decoupaged it on there or what they did. I just thought that was different. But we've got this little oil can for $5. Now the last thing is this tin. And I'm not sure what it was for, but you could use it for storage. Um, you could hire, hire, hide your flour and sugar bags in here and then pull it out when you wanted to use them. Um, that would work well in my house because I don't bake very often. Um, but I'm not sure what this tin originally was for because it does have these holes in the lid. Um, so it needed, you know, ventilation for something. This has not been sealed or anything. There is a little bit of topical rust, but I mean, for the most part, it's just been worn. Um, but I love the patina. So you could use this and you could stack some smaller tins on top of it. You could um, put it like this above your kitchen cabinets and magnet some recipes or pictures to it. So you've got lots of different options on this tin. It is $30 and it's about 12 and a quarter in diameter and seven and three quarters inches tall. So $30 on this tin. All right, Kathy wants the oil can. Might be alabaster. Yes, it might be. Alabaster I thought was heavy and this is pretty light, but I would think marble would be heavy too. So that is true, Sean, it might be alabaster. All right, guys, thanks for watching. And like I mentioned before, in case you got on here late, I will go through and put all the things that didn't sell um, into stories for you. And um, if you like this, then come back on Sunday at 7 p.m. Central Time and we'll do it again with some new things. All right, Julie wants the 10, thanks. All right, bye guys.